So, Coach, now that you guys are officially eliminated from bowl contention, what's the atmosphere like in the locker room for you and the team? Um, not too much being eliminated. Uh, so much as our, our last game here in the Alamo Dome, uh, the back end of a, a season for a senior group uh, that have worked so hard. And, uh, again, near and dear because they've been here since 16 uh, upon our arrival. Uh, those guys were here, and they had opportunities to back out of it. Uh, of course, a small class because it was January when we arrived, but the handful that we bought with the class that was already here, um, just could not be more proud of those young men and the leadership that they've shown with our team. And uh, we went out and we, we played hard and we wanted to be able to dedicate this win for them in their last game uh, in the Animal Dome. This is a very special place. Our, our university is a special place. Uh, our fans, our, our, our school is, and so we wanted to play well for one another more than anything else. And so to fall short on that and not have a win uh, is, is the thing that, that, that hurts those young men. But the uh, uh, effort was there. Um, there were a lot of bright spots in today's game, a lot of improvement that continued with our team, especially falling behind at one point, 20-something to three, could have easily packed it in uh, going against uh, you know, our, our representative of, of the East, the Conference USA champions, will be uh, the highest scoring offense in our conference. And uh, we traded blows with them. We just couldn't afford because we were playing from behind. So we couldn't afford to go back and forth. And when you turn over the ball, um, we have some young guys out there uh, that, that gave everything. And, and we've rode them this far. And uh, today uh, just wasn't their day in, in some spots. Uh, the good thing, Greg, we, we, we got some other guys in, though. We, we got a young JoJo Weeks in the game. We got a Brandon, Brendan Brady in the game. Uh, and we were able to play some guys who have not played substantially throughout the year that we turned to, and, and they answered the bell. So their hard work showed in their improvement in style of play. Coach, I think you guys had 401 yards of offense. It's yeah. your third game with 400 plus yards. What's your analysis of the offense overall today? Improving, uh, a constant improving. One that was, you know, early on we, we were really worried when we were in the hundreds, <laughs> and now to be in the 400s and, and to continue to improve in, in points as well, uh, it's something we're proud of. I, I think this team continues to get better. Uh, and we will only get better um, even in next week. We'll, we'll learn from this game. We'll identify the things that, that we didn't do well, build on them, um, and move forward. You know, it was um, an emotional game at the hotel. Usually when I give my uh, fire and brimstone speech to get ready to play, um, I stepped down and I shared the stage or gave the stage to our seniors um, and allowed those guys to speak to their team. And uh, it was one that was heartfelt. And you saw it, I think, in, in our style of play against a very talented team that uh, those words that they said to one another were sincere and that the love and compassion and uh, want to see each other uh, do well uh, showed itself. Coach, is there, is there a mood of disappointment not being able to reach bowl eligibility this season? Um, you know, I don't, I, you know, again, it, it was, the last game at the Alamo Dome. It was it was senior day. It was it was their moment for that. And so the talk today wasn't so much let's get bowl eligible. The talk today was let's go represent well in the Alamo Dome. Let's go compete our behinds off and show that we're worthy and that we can play with the very best teams in our conference. Um, and I thought we did so. I, I thought we showed that we can play in a never say die spirit. You take those turnovers away and I think you'll have a more competitive game, but that's part of it. And, and hats off to that team because they're a very good football team. Uh, their tight end 40 is a, a Sunday player. You know, he'll play in the National Football League for years to come. Uh, we did our best <laughs> to cover and we bracket and we put under and went underneath one over top. And then uh, at times we were relegated to when they tried to hide him, that they created matchup issues for us. Uh, but he had, a, he had a huge game on us, and we knew what he was. You know, he's our leading tight end in our conference play. So we did our best to try to contain him. Uh, so thank God he'll be going. <laughs> <laughs> Coach, overall, why else were you guys not able to come up with more stops defensively? What were the biggest challenges there? Uh, you know, again, uh, I think sometimes they're, they're difference makers. I, I think that guy was a difference maker. Uh, it wasn't necessarily where he was uncovered. He was covered, and at times contact was made sincerely with him, and we bounced off of him. 
And so I, I think the opponent um, and the skill of, of, of certain people sometimes show its prowess. And I think that was the case in, uh, in today's game with, with, with their tight end. I thought he was a huge difference maker uh, in his football game. What was the difference with Lowell today that he was not able to replicate the same kind of numbers we've seen the last couple of weeks? Yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> you know, uh, I know he wanted to play well. Uh, they don't intentionally go out there and, and, and want to throw an errant pass or an interception or, or not do well. His, he, he practiced well. His intentions were well. It, it, it just didn't click for him today. Uh, and so uh, when JoJo got in the game, I thought it clicked for him today. Uh, he, he actually pulled his own read and uh, escaped and extended plays. I was so proud of him uh, doing those things. And uh, I thought, you know, so, just so many bright things. I thought Lucas played his best game from a punt standpoint. Uh, but, you know, I don't know. I don't know why it didn't click for Lowell. You, you know, you practice, you give him the looks, you the anticipation of what's going to be there. And uh, it, has to, it has to happen in a game. And so at times it didn't today. Thank you guys so much. Thanks, Frank.